Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just wanted to play this clip uh, from this, uh, you know, uh, pretty famous uh, podcast up and coming. I just got put onto him about a month ago, fresh and fit. You know, um, the Red Peel community, you know, where you have these men starting these YouTube pages. All right. You know, pretty much, you know, taking their manhood back, coming up against, you know, this Western wicked all right, mentality that has destroyed men. All right. And put women in positions that they feel are liberating, but it's actually destroying them and their value. But we're not going to get too much into that. Because all of those things can be found in the Holy Scriptures and everything that these men say and that they think and and, and that will fix <laughs> what they're crying about. All right. And women as well can be fixed via the Holy Scriptures. OK, but um, I'm going to go ahead and play it because. Ultimately, a Hebrew Israelite, I'm assuming it was a Hebrew Israelite posted Isaiah four and one and let's. Let's let's pay attention to their reaction. All right, let's go ahead and play it. Okay, where are we at? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, um, Dunbar Elite 4999, Isaiah 4 1. In that day, seven women will take hold of one man and say, We will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace, women today. Independent, don't need a man. Damn, bro, that's in the Alpha, Alpha, yeah. Oh, holy smokes. Yeah. You heard that? He said, Damn, that's in the Bible. Holy smokes. All right. Now, I'm not going to play too much more. I'm not going to play any more because, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, get offended when you use their content. But, you know, this channel here is not monetized. I'm not making any money off of this. But this is just to only show you that, you know, the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. All right. Uh, everybody's getting ready to have to deal with it. Everybody has had their say. You know, Esau, Edom has pretty much spread all of his anti-Messiah propaganda. You know, throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, there's a spirit, you know, ultimately uh, arising in men, all right, to, to get back into that ancient manly spirit, you know, because we've all been raised as wimps, all right, this society has taught us, you know, to pretty much, you know, uh, uh, you know, to leave off from our uh, masculine energy, you see, and the the world that is being set up is pretty much in opposition to manhood all right and that's because the elite the powers that be know that when men get in their right uh, uh mind frame and particularly the israelite man okay which i believe the guy on the left may be an ishmaelite but he could be an israelite uh, that's to be determined um but when, when, when Jake gets in there, and, and men, period, get in their right state of mind, all right, that's where, you know, movements start. You know, that's where, you know, people stand up against, all right, uh, 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 propaganda, against lies. It's, it, it starts with the men, all right, and that's why the 144,000 are all men, and those are the leaders under Yahawashai of the nation of Israel. And some of those men are here on the planet Earth today preaching this very message. And what's happening is the earth is being filled with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is uh, pres prescribed and prophesied in the book of Habakkuk. Okay, we'll just get that real quick. All right, because this is what's happening. Holy smokes, he said. That's in the Bible? Well, there, there's, there's more in the Bible. And see, what's happened is these preachers and these so-called leaders who have this Bible in their hand, they haven't presented the Bible to uplift the men of the Lord. They've taken the Bible to mesh with the world and to ultimately push plantation Christianity, okay, on all of the people, man, which has nothing to do with what's in the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? Let me just get to the point. Habakkuk 2 and 14, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh. All right, of course, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, he has a mediator, okay, Melchizedek, the high priest of the Most High, all right, but it says, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh, 
as the waters cover the sea. And one of the things that's written in scripture, that's prophecy, that is going to come to pass is that in that day, seven women, which means a complete amount, are going to take hold to one man. All right. And they're, they're not going to come in that spirit. of You got to take me out here. You got to have this. All right. It, your, your value is solely going to be as an Israelite man. All right. In your spirit. You see, and that's what we have above, you know, millionaires, billionaires, men with status in this world. The men of the Lord are going to shine. All right. <laughs> and, and, and be the end thing in that day. You see, and women are going to be saying, you know, you got to get me these type of clothes. You got to buy me this. You got to buy me that. They're going to want your name put up on them. All right. Via marriage. And we know what marriage is. All right. Sex is marriage. So in that day. There's going to be a whole hell of a lot of women who are going to put off this Western mentality that they've been taught, okay? And they're going to understand that, damn, I'm in a position where I need covering. And we know what the scriptures say, a man shall be as a covering. You see, and what men? The men of the Lord, all right? But what's happening is the earth is being filled with the knowledge and the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Everywhere you turn, you're going to have to deal with the Israelites. Everybody's trying to get up. And get around the, the, the biblical narrative, but there's no way to do it because everything that's happening in the earth is based upon biblical prophecy, man. Okay, and all of the you know the, the, the gender war and everything that's happening, okay, it's all because of the propaganda, okay, that has been uh, uh pushed by the powers that be. All right, let's get to see if we can get a quick precept to this. <laughs> Psalms 22 and 27, all the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto Yahweh. All the kindreds of the nation shall worship before thee. And this is the Israelites who are scattered amongst the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, coming back to the understanding and everybody, when it's all said and done, all nations will bow to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what's written in this book, man. Okay, all nations. Okay, but it starts ultimately with the elect under Yahweh Shai being placed, you know, back in their rightful position, the sons of God, okay? But in that day, let's get Isaiah 32. All right, Isaiah 32 and 2, a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as a rock, as a shadow of a rock in a weary land. Okay, and, and 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 ultimately this is the, the 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 fame and the glory that's coming to the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So holy smokes is right. But wait, there's more. Alright, so he's all in all like damn, that's in the Bible. You see, but there's more. You see? Because all that men are crying for and pissed off about is addressed in the Holy Scriptures. And ultimately what we will have that we haven't had. Is sovereignty under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, new bodies, okay, and the ability to actually live as kings and priests on the earth. You see, the reason we get all of this back talk and all of this, because we're not in a position of power. That's why I don't argue with women. That's why I don't argue a lot of the things that, you know, women, you know, uh -uh. well, we'll see. All right, because in that day, once we get the power, <laughs> and once they get a renewed mind, we won't have to deal with the back talk and all of it. We'll have the, the, the substance, okay, to justify the lifestyle of having uh, uh, multiple wives. We'll, we'll be kings, man. And if you notice, it was kings that multiplied in wives and things of that sort. You did have regular men as well, but they had substance. You see, we won't have to sneak around the planet Earth. We won't have to... <laughs> The any the, the the everything we deal with here, the kingdom of heaven, it will it, it, none of it. You don't have to worry about no woman checking and tracking you. Because if these women could, they put the chip in us to track our every move, where we going. You know, they be looking at their phone, and it's an arrow of where you're driving to. They would do that if they could. You see what I'm saying? But ultimately, in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have to deal with that. And a lot of them will say, "Well, I just want to make sure you're safe." No, they want to make sure you're not smiling in anyone else's face but theirs you see but this has all been taught by western culture and western mentality which has been toxic man but in the days that are coming ye men of the lord okay <laughs> all 
when, 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 when this world is punished, Isaiah 13 and 11, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And that starts with, 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 with uh, Esau, but also the, the, the heathen and our people, man, because they're proud against the ways of righteousness, man. They don't see any profit in order. But the Heavenly Father is going to establish his order on the earth, whether you like it or not. See, a lot of you are anti-Messiah. See, but when people see the truth of what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is really all about, they're going to be like, damn. Holy smokes. <laughs> all right. And the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud, which a lot of these women are proud and these men. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And that's that that that's high in value. Well, right now, the reason no one you know really cares to hear what you have to say is because of how lowly we are. We don't own anything. You know, you, you know, a few brothers may have a few businesses, but ultimately, you know, that's why a lot of our women, they say you need to get on the level, you know, of the white man, you know, yada, 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 this and this and that. But they didn't get there on, on, on fair playing grounds. But ultimately, it's prophecy that they're where, where they are and we are where we are. But now we've acknowledged our offense and we're calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. We've repented. We, we, we've amended our ways and we're doing what we have to do to get put back in the rightful glory where we belong right under Yahweh Shai, okay? But in the coming days, as this society breaks down, those men who stood faithful, those men whom the Lord is dealing with are going to be deemed more precious than fine gold, okay? So it's not going to be about high value based upon your job or your status or your car or how much money you have in your account. All of that stuff is going to be out the door and it's going to be based upon the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Shai has put in the, the, those men. That's going to be highly coveted after. Okay? <laughs> Ain't going to be, you got to be this tall. You got to have this much money. You know, uh, uh, you know, I want your beard to be this thick. You know what I'm saying? Your hairline to be perfect. None of that is going to matter in that day. And then once we get the new bodies, <laughs> we'll be perfected. You see? But, yeah, it's written in the Holy Scriptures. Holy smokes, as he said. Yeah, right here, Isaiah 4 and 1, in that day, seven women, and I know you women roll your eyes when we bring this out, but all scripture, okay, 2 Timothy 3 and 16, can be used for uh, a reproof, rebuke for doctrine, and to bring understanding, and this is written in the scriptures, all right, and a lot of men think that this is going to be like a Luke video, or, you know, the I get around Tupac video or you sitting around. No, this is basically for the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai making us the greatest nation on earth. You see, and a lot of people think, you know, a lot of people make the argument, well, we're not going to have babies and this and this and that. Well, what, what, what does Timothy mean when it says they're going to be saved in childbearing? As a matter of fact, really quick, and then I'll, I'll turn it off. I didn't intend on this to be that long. But the spirit is upon me to uh, bring this out. Uh, Jeremiah 31. All right. I start at seven. For thus saith Yahweh, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, say Yahweh, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth and will bring them the blind and the lame. All right. Those who the heavenly father was going to have mercy on, because remember under that first covenant, if you were blind or lame, you, you, you couldn't pretty much, uh, uh, you know, go into the temple. If you had particular defects. You couldn't enter into the congregation. Well, through Yahweh Shai, the blind and the lame are now cleansed. It says the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together in a great company shall return hither. That right there lets you know that there are going to be women with child, okay, that are going to be saved, okay, <laughs> for the purpose of us being the largest nation on the planet Earth. Yeah, there's going to be pleasure that comes with it, but the full purpose is that us as the nation of Israel be the largest nation on the planet Earth, okay, and that's the Lord's pleasure. See, childbearing. 
see. One second. First Timothy 2 and 15. Now withstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Holy smokes. Yes, so you men, okay, the men of the Lord in particular, okay, we're going to be able to do what men were programmed to do, but we're, it's going to be in righteousness. See, in this world, everything is tainted. Everything is full of doubt. You have to hide. You, you, you can't really be. And this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahashai offers us. And through us being established, all men, once it's all said and done on the planet Earth, will be able to be men. Be fruitful, be multiplied without all of the holdups of Edomite supremacy and the lies that he's pushed in the earth, man. So, yes, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread. You ain't got to take me to uh, 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 to my favorite restaurant where I'm going to sit there and lie to your ass. All right. I ain't had sex in eight months. You know, I'm tired of the games. You know, I, you know. My uncle raped me when I was nine. You know, all of these different things. And you got to sit there. And then the bill comes. And this nigga don't bat an eye. And don't offer the tip. Now they cry for this equality. <laughs> Let me stop, man. <laughs> but at least offer to help with the tip. Nigga, the, the server helped you. Two. We're equal, right? But anyway. They ain't going to be asking for you to provide bread for them or for you to provide apparel for them. They're going to say, only let us be called by thy name, okay, to take away our reproach. So there's not going to be a such thing as an independent woman in that day. And those who still have that mind frame are going to be trodden down according to Micah, the seventh chapter, okay? Micah 7 and 10, when then she that is my enemy shall see it, the men of the Lord raised up. Because this whole world is fighting against men and manhood being reestablished. They hate it. It's toxic to them. All right? But guess what? It's a thorn in, in your side, and it's going to be established. You see? Shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? The Cynthia G's of the game. All right? My eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the street. Okay, it's going to be nails and weave and eyelashes popping everywhere, man. And those troops and all of the, the and, and prophecy coming to pass is going to be a clear indicator that we were telling the truth. All right, and the beauty of it is there's a remnant of women that are going to be delivered. Just like on the, uh, on the boat with Noah, you know, there were four women saved with the four men. So you liken that into this time, the Lord said each one of those men who are, or who are delivered, all right, pretty much at the time on the earth, those who are still on the earth, there's going to be a, a, a point where the Lord is going to set it up to where a complete number of women are going to take hold of him. And we're going to be picky too. See, right now we, we got to, you know, we got low self-esteem, you know, well, she ain't going to like me. You know, she too pretty. I'm fat. You know, I got to lose weight. You know, my, if I take my hat off, she'll see my hairline. You know, all of these thoughts and things. Well, well, and, and really, none of that matters. Now that you get older and you start to see how well, women don't care about half of the shit that we be thinking they care about. But this is what this society has. has, has this is, All of that is a result of this society. But in the kingdom of heaven and before that, before it's established, it's going to be about the spirit that's in us above anything carnal. So... I just wanted to show that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like my man said, you know, holy smokes. Okay, um, Dunbar Elite, 4999, Isaiah 41, in that day, seven women will take hold of one man and say, we will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. Women today, independent, don't need a man. Damn, bro, that's in the <laughs> Alpha, yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. Holy smokes.